Well, this is the first made document from the church on marriage and family life for 30 plus years. And just as Familiaris Consortio was a sort of a, a magna carta for the family, Amoris Laetitia is, um, it was, it's been called in the document a sort of a masterpiece of, of Pope Francis. And what it does for us is it sort of recasts the vision that we have of marriage and family life in very accessible language, very down to earth language, um, using lots of concrete um, examples and uh, he reflects the situation of, of couples, young couples planning for marriage or perhaps not planning for marriage and just the situation of the church today drawing um, I think a great deal on what people said in the consultation. So it's, it's a very contemporary, fresh look at marriage and family life but what he's also done most beautifully is, is to centre it all on the importance of love the joy of love and uh, you know that is our fundamental uh, reason for everything in our family life and for everything that we do in church to support marriage and family life. He has a beautiful um, exploration of that wonderful gospel that we often use in marriage, St Paul's letter to the Corinthians. I find particularly refreshing another section on dialogue which is applicable to all of us in church, the way we talk to one another. I think it's brilliant that there's that emphasis on uh, that respectful communication. He's also offered us what I think is possibly quite an, an innovative passage on raising children which is particularly key for parents. And he really has a heart for children and uh, in making sure that the church supports parents in giving children the best start in life. So I think it gives us a fresh starting point, a fresh language. It obviously contextualises our ministry in today's world beautifully. Um, and it gives, um, gives a wonderful framework for addressing the difficult situations that we come across in pastoral ministry with families, especially care, pastoral care and accompaniment of those who are divorced and remarried. And his stress is on inclusion and on um, seeing the fruits of, of second relationships and for using the fruits and the, uh, and, and the essence of mercy as our way forward and I think it's extremely exciting and I would hope that people take time to read it, meditate on it and then you know talk together in their parishes about what, what we can do next. For the last well, six years we've been working on marriage preparation, surveying marriage preparation in England and Wales, reflecting on that, asking providers for their thoughts, preparing a set of guidelines. And the process that came out of all of that work is exactly the process that Francis has revealed in Amoris Laetitiae. I hope I've pronounced that right. I'm sure we'll all get used to that in time. Um, but he sees uh, marriage preparation very much in terms of... Um, initiation uh, in terms of our sort of sacramental process of initiation and those are the steps that we've presented in the guidelines so that um, we see marriage preparation as a whole parish involvement uh, going from the rite of welcome uh, including the, the traditional courses but also you know supporting couples encouraging them with a prayer life and accompanying them very much afterwards especially in the early years of marriage so it, this plays very much into what we've been working on. We've also been working on a handbook for pastoral accompaniment of families. Francis in this exhortation talks about a need for much more outreach going to families. But what we have been working on is a handbook to help parishes maximise the moments when the come to moments when families approach us for baptism and for um, funerals, marriages, first communions and so forth. So that's great, and I'm, I'm absolutely delighted in his section on uh, family spirituality right at the back, where he's using exactly the same uh, rationale that we expounded in Home as a Holy Place. And I think for us, for the next step, we're going to have to go back to Home as a Holy Place and perhaps unpick and unpack and revisit that and, and do some more work on spirituality and how families experience it at home. <laughs>